I'm Bruna Casanova. I work at Judas Bear Family Office in Brazil, and we are going to talk about women and wealth. Well, I think there's a several reasons that it's important to talk about women and wealth. First one, we are seeing more women in leaderships, you know, and also, you know, in higher positions. We saw after the pandemic, more people getting divorced. So it's important for the women you know to know about the wealth of their family and also because we live longer. So we have to know about the wealth. My tips for a woman to be financially independent is one, get financial education. Knowledge is power and with knowledge we can empower ourselves and make our own decisions. We can follow our dreams. Second, keep track of the news. It's always important to know what's going on in the world. Three, take a close look to your portfolio. You know, you have to be looking what's going on. You need to make sure that your values, it is in your portfolio. And number four, amplify your confidence. This is very important. We are the future. The huge difference between the next generation female investors to the previous one it is the social conscious. They always would like to have a portfolio that is aligned with their values. They always would like to make an impact. They always ask of me what my money are nurturing. So you can tell the difference when you have the next generation sitting at the table with us. Normally, they always, if you say like, oh, would you like to invest in this kind of an investment, for example, for hamburgers? They're like, I don't think hamburgers, you know, we're going to eat more and more in the future. Probably I'm going to eat more plant-based food, you know? So it's incredible when they are always saying things like that. I think the most common mistake that a woman make, it is the lack of confidence. Normally, they don't ask. They always think that they have someone better than them. And there's a research that shows that when a man is evaluating himself, he gives higher grades. And then when a woman it is evaluating herself, she gives lower rates. And then if you ask to the team, it's exactly the opposite. So we cannot be afraid, you know, we have the responsibility to have confidence. I have twins, it's a boy and a girl, and I wanna make sure every day that I'm you know, raising them equally. I wanna make sure that my daughter will be a woman that with a lot of confidence. And you know, it starts right now. And also my son, you know, he has to have the humble, which is very important for a man. So even though I'm trying to treat them equally, I'm trying to, you know, know the bias that we have in our society and take it off. Well, living in Sao Paulo, it is chaotic, but it also has a lot of good energy. You know, it's a positive energy. There is culture. It's a place where you can do networking. And also it's a place with a lot of possibilities in a lot of segments.